St. James gives that something special to the students that the students are, I would say, smarter in terms of how they interact with us, how their presentation is, and a lot of them have already done the USMLE Step 1. Um, as students rotate in and out from different hospitals and different specialists, you know, you hear, you know, you speak to the physicians and they're just so grateful to have these students who are so eager to learn and help and be a part of their day-to-day. -day. Universal Health System with the St. James Associated, St. James School of Medicine Associated, they have five hospitals. They have, you know, McAllen Medical Center large, and they have the heart hospital specialty in heart and one of the top in Texas. And they have also the Children's Hospital. They have Edinburgh Medical Center, and they have the uh, Cornerstone Hospital, and they have also the Psychiatry Hospital Center. Every hospital has a lounge area, multiple lounges uh, per se, on each floor where they're rotating as well with the preceptors, depends where they at, there is always uh, a conference area where they have the chance to sit down, study, look up resources online, uh, uh, library, and there is a specific places where students can sit down and study. There is also core rooms. Yeah, we have a, a, every day. We have first of all, we have a, a student uh, champion, which is really we assign. I assign every rotation a leader. That way, the student can meet with their leaders. The leaders assign them in our areas one, two student, then we move them to in the floor. The floor, we move them here with the provider. That way we assign, for example, this student with this provider, and they are all day with him. And they follow him and they take the history and then they take the exam. I sit with the student for one to two hours to really go into all the day's experience. We choose cases every day. We see what the, we discuss how the, uh, I look at their charting, their MR, because that's very important. And that's why we, we go over their performance every day, every day. And we do that sometimes in the middle of the day and sometimes at the end of the day. Therefore, the day typical between the floors and learning by lecturing and then also interacting with the team and the, you know, back with our care team, plan team that, you know, following patient at home, we call them. I get into clinic by 6.45, but that's because I like to go in super early I take my time to review every patient chart that I'm assigned to and look at the labs, those that are in and those that are pending, and then I do my pre-rounds and I don't rush the process. By nine o'clock, the attending is there and we do rounds with the attendings and lunchtime, food is free at Edinburgh Regional. So we all go there to eat and every day we get something new. So that's a bonus. And after that, we either admit new patients, if any, or do rounds again on our patients to see their progress. And then we all gather for a discussion on one of the topics, either for the cases of the day or the day before. And we do our final charting and hopefully by 4.45, 5 p.m. We're, we're dismissed. A student that, uh, or the students that pass on my rotation, the typical day, because I'm an orthopedic surgeon, I'm a surgeon, so, as you know, we love to be in the operating room, so they spend uh, an average of about three days in the operating room and uh, the other two days in the office. So basically they have uh, the full experience uh, of orthopedic medicine and seeing the latest things on orthopedic surgery. Outside of the rotations, there's a lot of social activities that we're able to do down here. Uh, a lot of us have actually gone to Top Golf, swing a few uh, clubs, uh, go to the driving range and play there. Uh, some of us have actually taken weekends to go to the beach, uh, which is about an hour away. Uh, SpaceX is actually have test launches. The McAllen area is the 21st largest population center in this country. Clearly, once you arrive here, you can see that it's metropolitan. The infrastructure is very good good restaurants, access to South Padre Island an hour away. Uh, the cost of living down here is much more affordable than a lot of other places, especially Chicago. Um, for example, I have a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment all to myself and I pay about $800 for it. Um, in regards to gas, it's about a dollar cheaper than Chicago. The housing was very attractive for me. You know, in LA I was paying $900 for a small apartment and then I come here including water, including Wi-Fi, which I need to study. I'm paying 525 for a bigger space. I think for me personally, the preceptors have been my reason why I would recommend South Texas 
We're pretty new here, but the doctors are great teachers. We've had instances where there have been medical emergencies for some of the students, and we've actually called preceptors, and they've been able to get us the right treatment and the right uh, into the right hospitals at the right time. So even the school is very helpful, the hospital systems are helpful, uh, the preceptors are, are very nice and they're very willing to help us at any time. So there's not been a time that I have not had some support or felt support from the school.